Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm the Blue Ranger, and this would be my first ever vlog, for lack of a better term. Um, I just wanted to check in quick, uh, say hi. This is my first video that isn't from Twitch that I'm throwing on YouTube, um, and uh, it's fun. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be doing this. Uh, everything's going real quick and uh, improving quickly. I know the green screen doesn't work. Don't go yelling at me about it. It's just hung up for now. The computer's in the process of being built today. So it's, uh, it's an exciting time to be alive. Um, but there's something I wanted to talk about. Uh, if you're here, you're probably here because of my Twitch channel, which is growing at a pretty good speed, I would say. Um, and mostly what I've been playing is Destiny, which is a game that I have grown very attached to and been a, uh, a member of since day one. Uh, and uh, something's happening that everyone's talking about, and I wanted to put in my two cents because I'm getting kind of bothered by some of the things that are going around. Uh, and that would be everyone's favorite topic right now of microtransactions. Um, yes, nobody likes microtransactions. That's... That's pretty much a fact. I don't know anybody that loves microtransactions, but they said we are going to keep it to the point where there is no game-changing uh, purchases that can be made. Uh, we're going to keep it cosmetic. Now, obviously, they've strayed away from that a little bit, and so it's a little concerning, and I will side with everyone on that. It is a touch concerning that we can so quickly jump to something so simple as uh, emotes into... Uh, subclass leveling, which is pretty much what I think most people are upset about. But there's something that needs to be considered here, and it's something that I feel like is being overlooked in a lot of the podcasts and the streams and things that I'm watching, which I spend a lot of my time, I work at a desk, uh, listening to podcasts and uh, Crucible Radio, Guardian Radio, Planet Destiny, uh, uh, fire team chat. I listen to pretty much all of them that I can run into. Um, Guardian one, all of those guys, and uh, I, I often have uh, Bro Man and uh, Gathalian get me through the day at work. Uh, T Rex too, um, and whoever Planet Destiny is streaming. I love all those guys, and I love what they have to say. But they all seem to be sharing. I shouldn't say all. There's a no, there's a large number of people that I just listed off, but a number of the people in those groups share the same feeling that this has gone too far and that we are on the slippery slope. I don't necessarily disagree, but I think there's other things that we need to consider. First off, nothing that they've put into the game is breaking the game. Nothing that they've done hurts anybody. Um, I think it was put best in... Planet Destiny podcast, I'm trying to remember, but one of them said, as soon as I'm killed by a weapon that I have to purchase through the Eververse Trading Company, that's when I'm done. And I totally agree with that. The second that I have to buy anything, even a 99 cent purchase, to make my game better, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not spending that money. And I've, bought, I've purchased the Sparrow Racing book, the Sparrows, I've emotes, everything. I've put money into a lot of these things because I enjoy it. I did it because I enjoy it. I don't even really have ex expendable income, but I'm spending the money in ways that makes me happy. And that shouldn't be any of your concern. It shouldn't be something that bothers you. And if with the spark of light, which is the biggest of all of them that everyone is talking about, um, why do we care? Yes, it's overpriced. It's clearly a money grab. They might as well just put it on there, you know? The, uh, uh, the, the Spark of Light money grab by Activision. They should just put it on there. I, you know, I agree with everybody that the price tag is, is overwhelming. However, wh why, do, why do we care? Why, why do we care? If, if my neighbor goes out and buys Destiny tomorrow and decides, first off, they're going to get a Spark of Light. So there's that. But second off... If they want to buy another one to do a second character and get themselves boosted up, I don't understand what the issue is with that. It doesn't hurt my game. I'm hearing people say things, well, all of a sudden these guys who just bought the game can be blink shotgunning in the Crucible. What's the difference? You're already surrounded by people who are blink shotgunning. So are you even going to notice? You're not. The decisions that other people make within this game should not affect you. Your gameplay, you're slowing yourself down. You're getting in your own way 
by letting these purchases that other people are making affect your life. Nothing that they can buy right now hurts you or affects you in any way at all. There's in no way. It doesn't affect your game at all unless you let it. Once these things bother you, then yes, you're going to have issue with it. But if you just like let people live their lives, I mean, I, I'm not great at that. I pry on my friends' lives and I'm, I'm just as bad as everybody else with that stuff. But why are, why am I hearing people on stream and in podcasts losing their minds and this whole, oh, they're missing out on the experience. Let everyone have their own experiences within the game. I don't disagree. There's things that I learned and, and, and was able to experience throughout the course of building my guardians, all three of them, um, that I will enjoy as long as I'm playing this game. And there's memories that I might enjoy even past that. But it's important to realize that everyone's experiences are different, just like everyone's lives are different. Everyone has different experiences in their day, where they go to work, how they get to work, do they drive, do they walk, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It's all a, a matter of experiencing it for yourself. And if someone decides that they want to go in and buy these things and get jump up because they want to be where you are, first off, they're envious of what you have, what you're doing and what you've got. They want it. I mean, I'm flattered. If you're willing to spend the price of a of a used game to get caught up to where I'm at. Cool. I want to help people. And if somebody jumps in and wants to spend that money, I'm not going to sit there and go, well, you made a mistake, mister. <laughs> Even if I think they did, because I don't think people should be spending the money on it. It's too much, but that's for them to decide. Just like smoking. Smoking's terrible for you. Everyone knows it. There's no secrets, but people still do it. Why? Because we all choose our own paths. So I think people should really step back and stop worrying about the slippery slope we're on and start worrying about what's actually happening. And once there's an actual issue, we'll do something about it. We'll, we'll, we'll have an outcry. I mean, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the, uh, the, the, what is it? What were the, the, the steam, um, modding community for Skyrim. All of a sudden mods were for, you know, had to pay for mods. Uh, and that, that whole thing exploded and was shut down in a matter of days. So if all of a sudden they released, you know, the year two Galathor and at 3.30 light for $82 or whatever, we're all going to lose our shit over it, obviously. There's no two ways about it. We're absolutely going to lose our minds. It's per Excuse me. I, I would like to think that it would get taken down in that instance. I'd like to think that that's never going to happen. And so far, they have done nothing, other than overpricing things, they have done nothing to hurt our gaming experience. So I really just want everyone to step back, really take in what's happening, and stop worrying so much about everyone else's experience. Uh, and just enjoy your experience in Destiny. That's what I've been doing from the beginning. I've been trying to help my friends get further ahead because I believe in this game, I believe in this community, and I believe in Bungie. Am I a little worried about Activision? Absolutely we all should be because they don't have the best track record, but they haven't done anything wrong yet. They haven't done anything yet wrong yet. You know, this isn't minority report. Nobody's seen the future. Let's just take it one day at a time, guys. Uh, hopefully I get a chance to do more of these. Like I said, my computer is being built today. Uh, my guy who's building it cause I know how to use them, but I don't know how to build them is, uh, currently testing all the different functions, says the audio's got some problems, but he's working them out. He's he's a top-notch character, and so hopefully uh, I'll be running, uh, uh, instead of filming on my phone, I'll be filming on a awesome brand new gaming PC. So uh, hopefully I've got time to do more of these in the future, and uh, really, everyone just go have fun. Play your games, and don't worry about everybody else. I'll catch you next time.